So first of all, I want to introduce Lisa formally because she's an incredible powerhouse of an artist and singer and is our first signing to Melody Place. This is the first time she's really worked with, with studio players in the studio making a record for herself. This is really um, a, we, a sort of a musical road trip. We started in Memphis. We did songs that came out of Memphis, doing songs that came out of Malico. Then we go to Muscle Shoals and do songs that came out of Muscle Shoals. and that's. The album is going to be basically a sort of homage to the great music that came out of these places. I've been traveling over mountains, even through the valleys too. I've been traveling night and day, I've been running all the way, baby trying to get to you. Words on here are different than the yeah, ones that I, I know, got, and I so I had to adjust. All right. Well, you so need, I just made up something. You need something. a pen or, 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 or no, not? No, I'm just going to go with it. Okay. Well, there's nothing that can hold me. What happened? There were a couple times you went to the D on the A again. So you got to... I got too relaxed. Damn yeah, it. Yeah. And uh, but just a couple times you weren't quite sure where you were. Okay. But it's, it's because of that weird... Of good takes, it's so that weird uh, thing that's not in the other version that I've listened to. And when I had my notes, which I lost, I corrected that. You want a pen? I don't remember what it was. You want a pen? When I read your loving letter, then my heart began to say, there were many miles between us, but they didn't mean a pain. I just had to read you, baby. Let's rehearse this now while, while you get some sounds while you're doing it. Just walking in the rain Getting soaking wet I was getting it, damn it. Even if you make a mistake, don't stop. Okay, I thought you meant don't stop doing the song. You mean, you mean even if it's a mistake in the middle of the song, keep going. I got you. Okay, no worries. I'm gonna do it. I can do that. I do it all the time. You sounded great. Thank you. You sound so good, darling. Thank you. All right, forgive me. But just you know what? Minute. Stop thinking. Okay. Thinking is bad. All right, we are rolling. You want me to roll this back? Somehow I can't forget. <laughs> oh, it's Woo! wonderful. Thank and I got so many choices as well, but that one really had just like such heartbreak in it. That's because I was breaking my heart singing it. I was like, because I was nervous and because I was thinking about what it means, not only to me, but to the guys well, that the sang that it you, before. You sang it right where they sang it. I know. In 55 it's so powerful. Or whatever it was, you know? There's a vibe. There's a vibe. There's oh a real God. vibe. It's incredible. I'm glad that's over with. <laughs> I feel like I've just been through a final exam. <laughs> I was cramming for it the night before. <laughs> so, yay. Y'all, I got a text from a friend of mine in Mobile today, and I would like to share it with you. Yeah, go. Cool. This is from my friend Walter, and it has cuss words in it. <laughs> Even better. Bring it He said, on. Lisa, this is the opportunity you have always dreamed of. It will not be easy. You will get frustrated. It will be wonderful. It will be sad. Just do it. <laughs> Let out the lifetime of emotions into that microphone, into the mark you're going to leave on this earth. Do not get distracted by the small bullshit. Do not let your insecurities creep in. You have something to say, so do this. And one last thing, don't f it up. Go girl. <laughs> I know your mom's looking down on you with pride. Oh, <laughs> Isn't that great? It. I couldn't say it better. Feel the 
soul in the place. Right. Well, we're over at Royal Studios in, in Memphis, and it is uh, Willie Mitchell's studio, very famous especially for recording the Al Green records of the 70s and many other records, and it's a converted old movie theater. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah, and uh, wow. it, is, it hasn't changed probably since the 70s. Thank you all for being here. Um, oh, how exciting. Because Thank you. Lisa is um, a wonderful singer, and uh, this album we're taking to Memphis, Muscle Shoals, and Jackson, Mississippi. We're going to record songs that were recorded in Memphis and Memphis, songs recorded in Muscle Shoals and Muscle Shoals, etc. Um, doing them really in a lot of the old school manner, you know. And she's a killer singer. And, uh, you know, on some of these songs, we're going to try to be pretty close to the original as far as the spirit of it. But I don't need you guys to be copying. You know, I just want to catch the vibe. Oh, when I hear your name, I start shaking inside. When I see you stroll, I lose my self control. That's what love will do for you. Michael, he doesn't want to do the licks on the organ, so you'll take the guitar solos out. Okay, you're going to stay on the one? Because that's what we were talking about when we cut it. Oh, what to go out on the one? I stay on the one. So you think I'd be fun? Yeah. I mean, that's what they have. I think they we should decided stay on the one. to yeah. go to the full, but I yes. so no. We all I think we should, should guys stay on the at the one. end fade. We all stay on the one. Yeah. We don't. We don't. We don't ever change. Oh, wait, you cut this? So that yeah, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> that's Michael playing. The but lead. not. That's Milton no playing the lead. But oh, that's the you playing the rhythm. Yeah. We cut that in Studio B. You did that. Yeah. Holy cow! Was you playing on it too? My name is Michael Tolles. I play guitar. And what we did here in this session, we took uh, a group of tunes that had been recorded in Memphis. We took them and gave them a new version uh, and a new vision for a modern audience to listen to them. And we've got some fantastic vocals. And the group of guys that played, we've all played together for a long time. Should I sing again then? Oh, oh yeah. OK. Yeah. This is hard to do without the backing vocals. Wow. Um, I can think of some other jobs that are harder. <laughs> <laughs> Love me like it's the last time. Reassure me that you Uh, Lee Rahodges, Jr., bass player. And I've recorded Al Green, Syl Johnson, Otis Clay, Detroit Emerald, Lou Milton. That is many of, of the great ones that I've had the pleasure of recording. It's my first time meeting Fred and Lisa, but they are really, really fantastic people. Dun, dun, dun. After, after the two bar? After the two bar, uh-huh. Okay. Yeah, we'll, make it, we'll just get out. Most of the musicians on, on the sessions today, we have played together over the years, years, many, many years. Matter of fact, Michael and I started playing together back, say, the mid-70s. So we go way, way, way back. Charles, I love the way you stop that track. My name is uh, Reverend Charles Hodges, Sr. I play Hammond B3 organ. I'm a member of the high rhythm section here at Royal Studio in Memphis. We recorded 26 gold and platinum records in this studio consecutive, one behind the other. It was a pleasure doing this album with Lisa and Fred and uh, I'm just hoping we get to do another one. Nesker Snell, I play piano. And that's what I play today. Wonderful session. Have fun. Steve Potts, play drums, drama. It's been a great day. Great session, love working with Fred, oh my God. His producing is so cool, I love it. And Lisa, great singer, great. 
just great, just a great day. When you have fun and enjoy what you're doing, and that's what I did today. Just really enjoyed everything. Yeah, I've been working here for years with Willie Mitchell and did a lot of recording sessions here. It's just been a lot of fun, a lot of fun today. That was delightful. Delightful. I love you, Fred. <laughs> and Lisa, what a vocal. Oh, thank you. Guys, what do you feel? You want to hear, take a listen to it and just move on? We are at... Malico Studios today, Jackson, Mississippi. The original studio was uh, knocked down by a tornado and destroyed. And uh, this is uh, their new version of Malico, which is built uh, literally on the grounds of the original studio. And this is an exquisite, beautiful state-of-the-art studio with wonderful uh, uh, musicians that are local to this area. And uh, we're just excited to get started. First one we're going to do, because you, you didn't want to do a, uh, the, the shuffle, right? Um, is there a reason why you think we should start with that one just to get everybody loosed up? Let's fun. start with that one then. Oh. I'm okay now. Okay. I've had two cups of throat right, coke. Good. Even better. <laughs> so let's go and now we'll, we'll do the we'll do the blue shuffle, which is called. Uh, Someone uh, else is stepping in. Someone else stepping in. Zz Hill. Zz Hill. Clearly was a Malico favorite. shock when he found out his key no longer fit my lock I said oh baby hi I'm George Lawrence I'm from Jackson Mississippi where this studio is it's been great working with Lisa Mills today she's a really gutsy bluesy gospely church whiskey voice singer and that's it's been a lot of fun members only it's a private party Don't need no money To qualify So my name is Brennan White. I play guitar today for the session. This is my first time at Malco though, so it's really cool. Uh, it's a lot of history, a little intimidating. Brendan, <laughs> do you want to just do another pass? Are you worried about something or? Um, I'm worried about the fact that I'd probably clip the preamp. A little bit. Okay. While we listen, do you want to just run another pass? That'd be nice, yeah, yeah. Yeah, go ahead. But the session's going well. I think everything's going smoothly. Um, a lot of really, really awesome players today and a lot of tight, tight musicians. So I'm just stoked to even be here. It's been great. So go to the thump, thump. And that'll be the band coming in there on the Oh, one. okay. When the band comes in on that one, yep, yep. So you want, you want from starting from that, that third measure right there? Yeah. Uh, I'm Michael Thorne, the bass player on the Lisa Mills project here in uh, Malico Studios. It's right at the end of that part right there. It's a great big rumble. You can't, I mean, shit starts moving around in the room when I hit that note. It's like the second bar of the, uh, of the tag. Doing these cover tunes from, from these famous studios from down here, you know, the Memphis and Muscle Shoals and uh, here in Jackson. It's, uh, it's a lot of great songs came out of this place. And uh, it's cool to, you know, re, uh, to recover these. Get rid of that little noise before the bass starts, and then let's get the B3 for like a bar. Sorry guys, I to, it's got to be close to perfect. Not perfect. Yeah, close to perfect. My name is Sam Brady, and I am the keyboard player on the session today, playing Hammond organ. <laughs> Known Lisa since she was a teenager. We became friends and uh, didn't see each other for quite a number of decades. And then five years ago, maybe, here she pops up on the music scene just knocking me out. You're saying end on the second I'll always love you. Is that what you're saying? I think so. Okay. I'm not, I have to. All right, I'll stay you. tuned. Stay tuned. We're here in Muscle Shoals at Fame Studios, and we are getting ready to record five more tracks for the Lisa Mills album. And this is the end of our southern journey. And uh, we are ending it with a tremendous bang because the musicians we have for this particular day are wonderful and historic, and this place is historic. I know, I think you played on some of the originals we're cutting. I'm sorry, oh yeah. Greenwood, Mississippi, oh, yeah. I, bet, I bet you did. Yeah, yeah. I played on Run Go Blind, too. You did? On which version, though? Etta. It was the Etta. Yeah. yeah. I like the other one, too. I, 
I do too. I like them all. My name's Clayton Ivey. I'm a keyboard player. Uh, I came to work at uh, Fame here in 1969, I believe it was, yeah. One of the first big records that I played on was was Patches, uh, Clarence Carter. And uh, then the next year we did Osmonds, we did One Bad Apple, and we just cut a lot of hit records here, and uh, that was just the name of a few. And today, uh, I was cutting with Fred Mullins and Lisa, and uh, to be honest with you, I didn't, I didn't know she could sing like this. And just, it was just, it was really, it's an honor to work with somebody that can really sing, and uh, she's really good, man. Let's take it again from the right, here we go. Oh, look at it. It's, it's cassette form. A gold cassette. Two million sales. Tim McGraw. Wow. Too cool. Justin, cowbell from... Uh, just, just do cowbell on the quarters from like maybe the... He's from, not joking, he's really asking for cowbell. Maybe, maybe, that, yeah. from the, maybe from the solo, no, from the second half of the breakdown verse, it gets back to it. Oh. None in the beginning? No, because I can always bring it up. Oh, cool. My name's Justin Holder. I am a session drummer here at Fame Studios. Um, I've had the opportunity to work here with Chris Christofferson, Delbert McClinton, Foy Vance, uh, Keb Moe. It was an honor, honestly, to have her in the headphones. With her, I had her blasting because she pushed me in certain directions that elevated my playing today. Fred's amazing, you know, he knows what he wants. And I love working with guys that know what they want because then my job's easier. You know, I hit a snare once, he goes, I don't like that snare, let's brighten it up. Great, you know, I know, okay, I know where he's going with that. Play it again. Uh, I'm not in love with that snare. I think it should be a little bit snappier. I think it, okay. Yeah, I think it should be a little more piccolo. Yep. So it was great to work with Fred and I really hope I get to work with him more in the future. Are you there? John? Yeah. You, you hear yourself now? Yeah. All right, you feel better about yourself? Way better. Here we go. Here we go. I'm John Willis, and uh, I'm playing electric guitar today. And I uh, played on a lot of records down here Shenandoah, Forrester Sisters, some Alabama stuff, Shania, uh, Taylor Swift, a lot of Kenny Chesney. Could you play in time and play in tune? I don't want a lot of choices, John. Now you're laughing, but I don't need a lot of choices. Please, please, this is enough already. Clayton, that was perfect, man. That was great. John, you're, I'm going to punish you now. You're going to come in here and listen to all of your solos. And you pick it. Because I'm not. My name is Bob Ray. I'm a studio musician. I play bass guitar. I've been working in this building, Fame Studios in Muscle Shoals, for 49 years in July. I did Steven Tyler here last year with Michael McDonald. Ray Charles is probably the highlight of my career. I did pieces of three albums with him. Lisa's fun because we're doing a lot of Muscle Shoals type music, so it's fun to get back in the R&B roots, which is where I started. We just wrapped up an incredible day at Muscle Shoals at the famous Fame Recording Studios. Welcome to Muscle. That's pretty great. Um, and uh, and basically, it was something that could not have gone better. Just we had the most amazing musicians for the Lisa Mills final day of recording on our Southern Road Trip. Something told me it was over When I saw you 
and her talking. Something deep down in my soul said, Cry, girl. When I saw you and that girl, and y'all was walking out. me child oh. so you see I love you so much I don't want to watch you leave me baby most of all I just don't I just don't want to be free no Now, baby, yeah. Review the cheese that was rolled. 